Hey guys, Mike here from Epic Tech 360. Today we're going to be doing a video on how to make a start.bat file. Now this is actually quite easy and I'm actually going to show you guys how to do it. Now if you guys don't know what a start.bat file is, it basically looks like a command prompt. The command prompt looks like this and it basically just runs your Minecraft server. It's like the main console for your server. Now basically what I did here was I put... Um, let me just fix that. All right, that's over there. Now, basically, what I did was I put together. Um, first of all, this was a requested video. Um, so yeah, I'm doing this video because one. First of all, actually, I want to show over here if I can just get. I've been having a lot of questions on one this video on how to set up a um, high pixels high burns server mansion and also a lot of questions on this one which I thought both of these videos were very clear which now I can't say that they weren't and I can't say they are just because everybody has different issues and I'm trying to help everybody so it's these two videos this one and this one so both hybrids mansion mod I mean map um, but yeah so basically in one of those videos someone requested how to uh, create a startup bat I am more than uh, happy to show you guys how to do that so the first thing you guys want to do is go into, if you're running 7, uh, assuming you're running 7 XP, hopefully not Vista. If you are running Vista, I'm not going to bag on you for it. Uh, so just open up Notepad. Not Notepad++, Notepad. So what I want you to do is, uh, let me just pin that over there. If you guys are running 64-bit edition, I have the code right here. Now this is actually should be a 7 right here if you're using Java 7 um, JRE 7 that's actually very easy to find out it's computer I have two uh, hard disks in here um, search Java and see if it says J uh, JRE 7 if not try to update it so um, as you guys can see here that's the 64 bit I'm just gonna paste that in here Hit Control V. Now we have our start.bat config file. Now we're gonna hit save as. I'm gonna save this on my desktop just for all purposes. See right here is right here where it says save as type. Drop down, hit all files. Type in start dot bat. Hit save. Why not? Close that. And now, as you guys see here. Now this is I don't have this in a folder, so it's gonna be completely different. But as you can see here, it says cannot access the file bucket jar. That's only because um, I'm this isn't even in a server file. That's just a plain. I was just showing the purpose of the video. Um, now if you are running 32-bit, uh, which is fine, uh, same code, kind of a little bit different. Uh, Control C or just right-click and hit copy. Uh, then open up your little friend notepad here. Notepad and right here hit control V or uh, right click and paste same thing file save as all files label this start one dot bat that's only because I only have to if you are running 32 bit just labeled start I can do that for you guys and I'll replace it why not and that shouldn't pop up only because I have that open. Just don't worry, guys. Believe me, this is completely normal. This everything will work completely fine. So as you guys can see here, the start is right here, right here. Just open up again. And if this was in a server file, it would find it. It should start the folder. Now, like I said before, I do have a video on how to actually set up a server, which um. I'm guessing someone just had a question on how to do it, which is completely fine. It's completely normal, guys. Um, let's see. Yeah, so that's basically it. Um, I mean, any other questions, I am more than happy to actually help you guys out. I love helping you guys out. Um, it's my it's my um, pleasure. So basically, that's going to wrap up this video, guys, today. And before we go, I wanted to just kind of uh, mention a server hosting business that me and my friend do. Uh, these are the prices right here. I don't really want to advertise on this channel at all. I'm just trying to, because me 
been posting a lot of server issues people have been having issues like I said I'm more than welcome to help you guys but um, I, it's just that I'd rather show you guys this if sometimes there's an issue that can't it, it always usually can be resolved but sometimes it's just easier me hosting your server for a price a month now I'm not trying to sound like a, you know a sales guy but that's what it is if you'd like to you can contact me um, click right here for contacts contact my name is Mike uh, Skype Mikey Sal 12 email Mikey Sal 1 at gmail.com also my second contact here is Dakota Wallander he is his Skype is www uh, a L L E N D E R and then his email is Dakota at Dakota Wallander dot com if you guys have any further questions please feel free to leave a comment leave a message email me Skype me do whatever you guys need to do thank you guys peace